hi guys welcome to my channel this is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video I would like to thank each and every one of you for liking commenting subscribing and donating to my channel I really do appreciate all the love and all the support and thank you for those of you who've been booking readings with me it is truly appreciated okay so as you guys could tell by the title of this video this video is gonna be about who has feelings for you okay so pile number one you're going to be the black obsidian crystal pile number two you're going to be the amethyst crystal and pile number three you're going to be the citrine crystal so again pile number one black obsidian crystal pile number two amethyst crystal and pile number three citrine crystal So pause this video if you must and meditate on the card or the crystal that you feel most drawn to. You'll be able to find your timestamps in the description box below and I'll see you guys at your pile. Hi Balwan, welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So my pal number one, you picked the uh, black obsidian crystal and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, oh welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pile or previous readings, okay? So my pile number one. Who has feelings for you? Who has feelings for you, my pal number one? What do we have here for you? We have 10 of wands. Hmm. I feel like those feelings are becoming a burden for this person. Or like, it's like, I feel like this person's overwhelmed by how they much they feel for you. And I feel like this person cannot express that love or those feelings towards you because of like some sort of obstacle. Ooh, five of pentacles. Maybe you left this person out in the cold. Maybe this person started to catch feelings for you after you left them out in the cold. Maybe they were playing games with you, manipulation, and you finally moved on from this person. Yeah, now they're... <laughs> I'm getting like an energy of somebody making up their mind about you with the two of swords in reverse. And we have the four of swords. Yeah, you would definitely put something to rest between you and this person. So I'm getting like an energy of like, it could be somebody from the past that is realizing how much they care for you, how much they have feelings for you. And I feel like when they were in your life, they didn't reciprocate. They didn't show you love. They were maybe acting like they didn't care. There was a lot of nonchalant energy coming from this person, but you left them out in the cold with the five of, with the five of cups, sorry, the five of pentacles. You see the five of cups might be coming out, but we have the knight of cups. This is somebody who tells you exactly what you wanna hear. They're very charming, charismatic, okay? empathetic but they use that to their own advantage okay to get something out of someone and i feel like this is what they have done to you and you put it to rest but not this person because they caught feelings for you it could have been like just a game for them it maybe could have been like a boost of ego to make them feel like they they still got it like that that they can have anyone that they want and you could have been just somebody that they wanted to show off to their friends to say yeah look what i got like oh yeah i got problem one you see what type of men and or women i could get that I'm getting that, that type of energy here with the Knight of Cups, somebody who doesn't follow through on their words or on their promise. Like they just sell you a dream, but they don't act on it. So who has feelings for you? Okay, there's two cards that fell. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles, somebody who is slow to commit. 
Ooh, this person's watching you like a hawk. They're watching you online with the page of swords, but with the Knight of Pentacles, this is somebody who's slow to commit, somebody who likes to take their time. Okay, they like to drag their feet when it comes to commitment. They could have fear of commitment as well. But on the flip side, this is somebody like it could have been like in the past they've committed to somebody that broke their heart so now they're more cautious about it with the knight of pentacles but this person's watching you like a hawk like they can't even sleep at night yeah we have the ace of wands yeah they're very attracted to you we have the eight of pentacles now they're willing to invest in this connection they want to give you more than just a passionate encounter with the ace of wands now they want to invest in you they want to give you the world this is the energy i'm getting from this person but i feel like you're kind of like annoyed with them because it's like why now why now like before when you know the um like when we were together i was trying to get to know you you were playing all these games running around um telling me lies telling me something and then acting a different way so i feel like now this person is finally making up their mind and i feel like the, with the ten of wands the energy is becoming too much for them to bear like they want to express themselves to you but i feel like you moved on with the six of swords you moved on from this person you moved on to calmer waters because it could have been like a roller coaster energy or connection with them so one minute you're up with them next minute you're down one minute they love you next minute they don't because i feel like this person was in the two of swords energy upright so wishy-washy in and out type of energy and you eventually let go of this person and now that you let go and now that you've cleared your energy from them now they want you back now they want to express their love to you now they want to confess their love to you because it's too much it's becoming too much to bear i'm also getting like this person could have thought that you were going to run back to them like i feel like this is their strategy to play games or have you in a position where you feel like you need them or you crave their attention or you need their validation and you didn't do that so you moved on you put a you put an ending to it and now this person feels some type of way about you moving on or moving away like they didn't think that i feel like this person didn't think that they were going to catch feelings like they were going to be able to move on from you and then move on to the next person but they're still thinking about you still reminiscing about the time that you guys had together yeah they're having a tower moment you see six of pentacles they want to give to you equally now because this person's having a tower moment they're having a powerful realization that they are in love with you i'm telling you king of cups this person could be a, a water sign um air sign or earth sign okay this is what i'm getting here they could also have fire in their chart but with the knight of cups being up here and then the king of cups at the bottom i feel like it gradually turned into like this person initially their feelings for you was like the knight of cups where yeah they were feeling you they thought you were cute they thought you were handsome beautiful whatever but this person was like yeah but i'm not gonna commit i'm still gonna like you know play the feel i'm still gonna see what's out there i'm gonna keep pound number one in the back pocket and then i'm gonna explore my options and you're like no you're not gonna do that to me either you are with me you want to take you're gonna take this relationship seriously or you're gonna move on you're gonna kick rocks okay this is what i'm getting here this is exactly what i heard and now that you moved on and you moved on without this person now they're starting to catch feelings for you now their feelings are deepening for you and they didn't think that it was going to happen with the tower they thought they were going to be able to just play their little game and move on and then move on to their next victim now it's like i'm getting like this is like a player falling in love so who has feelings for you <laughs> guys i cannot make it up didn't i say player falling in love and who comes out the knight of wands i'm telling you this is somebody who was flighty they they're probably very handsome or beautiful okay so they get a lot of attention all eyes on them so they thought they were gonna be like okay well if you don't want me i have someone else in you know in like in my phone so i could call in my roster or oh i can't even speak <laughs> in my roster to call okay and this person took a leap of faith towards someone else towards something else okay and now they feel foolish for taking that leap of faith because it's like oh pound number one is not irreplaceable okay they're not they're not sorry they're not replaceable sorry they're not replaceable this is what this person thought like that you were replaceable and they got a rude awakening with the tower that they're like they thought they were gonna find someone else like you 
or like because you know like this person was boosting their ego like you know showing off to their friends that oh yeah i look i got pile number one so that means if i can get pile number one i can get other pile number ones without realizing that you are you are one of one the only one okay so i'm gonna like maybe um that song that's coming to me is uh beyonce alien superstar yeah you may want to listen to that song but yeah like you are one of one the only one they're not gonna find another one like you yeah you moved on from this person <laughs> and now they're in the nine of swords energy because you moved on didn't i say now this person's tripping they can't sleep at night they're stalking you with the page of swords watching you online every two seconds they wake up they watch you they before they go to bed they watch you they wake up in the middle of the night they watch you it's like this person cannot stop yeah i'm not yo i can't make it up eight of swords they have a lot of anxiety they want to come in with an apology they're not happy where they're at whoever they chose over you because i feel like they may have had like other options and they chose someone else over you because they thought, like I said, they're going to find something better or someone better. And they got a rude awakening with the tower. And now they're having a lot of anxiety because I feel like this person's afraid that you might move on or that you already moved on. Because for some of you, you could still be single right now, living a life of luxury, doing your own thing. And some of you are already in a relationship, but th this person doesn't know about it. Some of you, this person could sense that you are already in a relationship and they feel some type of way about that. And they want you back. They want to reconcile with you with the um page of cups they want to apologize and make amends but i feel like a lot of you is over with the four swords like you're done with this person you're not looking back you're not looking to you know build anything with them you don't even feel like this person is your soulmate with the four of wands in reverse you don't even feel like this person is reliable or they're trustworthy or that you could build something with them while this person is starting to catch feelings for you i feel like this their feelings have deepened for you and with the knight of cups going to the king of cups but they don't want it to admit to themselves that they have fallen for you and this person i feel like even if they come back because i feel like they want to but they're kind of afraid because of how they left things uh, with you it could have been like a painful ending even though the ten of swords is not here but the tower is here so it could have been like an abrupt ending or a painful ending between the two of you and this person is not sure if you're going to take them back but they want to give it a try they want to try it anyways but what I'm getting here, this person is having a hard time digesting their feelings for you. Yeah, you see the Page of Cups is here again. And the Seven of Pentacles. Now they want to invest in you. Now they want to birth something new into existence with you. But I feel like a lot of you, pile number one, are not even interested in this person because you already moved on. Some of you, like I said, are already in a relationship. And others of you are happily single and you're not looking to mingle with this specific person. Not that you're not ready for a relationship, just not with them. You don't want it with them. I'm getting like heavy. A lot of you don't want this person back because they play too many games, too many mind games, too many manipulation and just over it. Yes, a lot of you may have blocked this person with the seven of wands. Okay, they could be watching you from a fake account. Okay, they may, they may be trying to get a hold of you yeah we have the ace of wands this person is extremely passionate about you they're very attracted to you if you guys been intimate uh together this person feels like you were the best that they ever had like maybe they've been intimate with other people and that no one compares to you or like the um energy the love or the yeah you see ace of swords nothing no one compares to you oh guys the devil is at the bottom uh, behind that card and in this deck the devil is the lust like if you ever have this deck you'll know what i'm talking about like because i can't show it because of the nudity but boy when i tell you this card oh you could tell like this is how probably how this person feels when they think about you a lot and this is what i'm getting here with the ace of swords and the ace of wands yeah this person is very attracted to you physically but they're i feel like they wanted to keep it on the physical level at first where it's just physical and nothing emotional but the more and more they got to know you the more and more they spend time with you even if they were being flighty or they being being a player they were catching feelings for you but they didn't want to admit it to themselves that they were falling for you so when you departed from their life they were like okay well that's fine who cares as long as i'm not catching feelings for pile number one i'm good but it didn't happen like that the more and more like 
you know when they say absence will make the the heart grow fonder this is what i'm getting here that's exactly what happened with this person and they didn't expect to fall for you they were like nah i'm just gonna move on to the next person and the more they try to move on the more and more like the, their energy their feelings for you are growing and i'm really getting like this person doesn't want to admit it you see i burn myself this person's like why are you stitching on me <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like telling me to shush it. Okay, so we're gonna be using um, the initials Astrodice and Charmy to get a little bit more confirmation who this person could be. So the initials, um, sorry, the Astrodice could be your sign or this person's sign. Um, the initials could be your initials or this person's initials. And then the Charmies is how they feel about you, okay? So who has feelings for you? So we have Scorpio, um, South Node. Wow, Scorpio in his own house because it was on the eighth house. So it could be they could have Scorpio in their their eighth in the eighth house, or Scorpio in South Node. Okay, or well, that could be you. So who has feelings for you? Okay, so we have S, N. J, F, K, M, K, D, N, M, F, L, F, and then Z. We have love. I'm telling you, this person's falling in love with you and they can't help it. They're falling so deeply that is scaring them. They view you, they feel like you're like a flamingo. You're so unique, you're different. And we have the seahorse. I'm telling you, there's like something unique or refreshing about you that this person cannot get over. We have the butterfly. I feel like they want to transform this connection. They want a renewal. They feel like you're heaven sent. You have the key to this person's heart because we have the key and a heart. You have the key to this person's heart, okay? Maybe you wear Chanel number five or this person wears Chanel number five. Okay, so this person could be a foreigner or they may like to travel or you like to travel. Yeah, they feel like you're unique, like you're a star. You shine bright. You are a light in this person's life. Okay, we have the star twice. And we have, oh, this person could be religious. They could be Jewish or Muslim or that could be you. Okay, you could be religious. We have a cloud. So this person thinks a lot about you at night or they are when they were with you they were on cloud nine i feel this person fronted a lot okay we have two trees so this person wants to build something solid with you especially with the seven of pentacles being here yeah do you have this person's heart they want to take the necessary steps to be with you okay yeah and this is like giving me a snowflake it's just unique Maybe you guys met in winter or this person's born in winter, okay? Because Scorpio is at uh, the end of fall, beginning of winter, okay? So you could have Scorpio or this person could have Scorpio in their chart or they could be born in winter, okay? So that's all I have for you, my pal number one. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and I hope to see you in my next video, pound number one. Bye. Hi, Peltu. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So, my pal number two, you picked the Amethyst Crystal, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So the way I like to do this is like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So we don't pick up the energy of previous pal or previous readings, okay? So my pal number three, who has feelings for you? Who has feelings for you? My problem number three. What do we have? Ooh, two of cups. I feel like the feelings are mutual, guys. 
Yeah, this is somebody who has you have feelings for too. For some of you, it could be like a crush that you're wondering like if they like you or you know both of you guys are like flirting with each other but if that's the case ooh, i'm telling you there's too many cards that came out but the ace of cups came out this is somebody that you are very fond of okay who has feelings for you who has feelings for you that's okay ooh, there's so much cards coming out this person has a lot of feelings for you who has feelings for you Ooh, this is somebody who feels like you guys are destined to be together or you guys are soulmate i know the six of cup has the connotation of like um memories of the past or past life lover or somebody from the past but i'm not getting that i'm getting like this is somebody who feels like a strong connection to you a strong soulmate connection where they've known you this person could be younger than you or just young at heart they don't have to be younger than you they could be a fire sign Okay, with the sun card. Yeah, they could, not a fire sun, but well, obviously the fire sun, but a Leo. Okay, so this is, this could be somebody who is in the spotlight or somebody who gets a lot of attention. Um, somebody who could be very confident when they walk in the room, all eyes on them. Okay, this is what I'm getting here, but this person is passionate about you. Ooh, we have the Empress. This person is very attractive. And they could be very attractive to you with the empress energy that could be you as well you coming up as the empress and this person coming up as the sun they could have taurus or libra in their chart but this is somebody who's very attractive they're extremely creative they're well balanced well uh, i don't know why i heard well mannered yeah they could be single that's why i'm getting like a crush both of you guys are crushing on each other with a nine of pentacles this is somebody who lives a life of luxury or somebody who's really good with money they could have like I don't know why I'm getting like this could be somebody that you work with or somebody that is in your environment this is somebody I, I strongly feel like this is somebody that you have a crush on and they have a crush on you too the feeling is mutual here and this person wants to be with you like it's heavy and then we have divine feminine with the empress here this is somebody who likes to wear they may like to wear jewelries um this is also somebody who just dressed really nicely they were i don't know why i heard cabin klein maybe they like to wear cabin klein or they like to uh lacoste okay or i don't know why i'm getting um they like to wear burberry or like they like their perfume that's like the favorite burberry her if it's like a woman she may like to wear Burberry her, okay? Like that scent, that's her favorite scent. Or that could be you, that could be your favorite scent. Yeah, I see three of pentacles. That's why I was getting like, maybe some of you work together or collaborate together. Or if it's not collaboration, maybe you guys go to the same gym or you guys do yoga together. There is some sort of like um, mutual interest here with the three of pentacles and nine of pentacles. You guys do something similar. There, You guys have a similar interest that bridge you guys together so either you guys work together work out together or work at the same gym you see this person quite often okay they are in your environment this is somebody who is in your entourage okay this is what i'm getting here so who has feelings for you yeah they're keeping it on the wraps oh we have the hermit mm -mm, virgo energy this is somebody who's meticulous this is somebody who may like to spend a lot of other time alone as well or this is somebody who is very strict with their diet okay so who has feel yeah we have the king of pentacles somebody who's financially stable they are abundant we have the world card this person could be a foreigner or they could be well accomplished they have like i feel like they have a steady um like their life is really set and now they're looking for love with the king of pentacles and the world and the hermit yeah this is somebody who's financially abundant somebody who's financially secure they're doing very well for themselves who has who has feelings for you we have the four of cups this person could have been like bored with their bored with the the dating scene okay so this is somebody who may have gone out on dates multiple dates and they were disappointed with the type of like women or men that they kept on meeting and i feel like with you they want to take their time to make sure that it's going to be right they don't want to rush the process like this is somebody who is secure in themselves they don't like to 
they don't like to do things too hasty we don't have the knight of wands or the knight of swords so this is really good but it's just somebody who may have like had a lot of like um disappointment when it comes to love okay this is what i'm getting here with the four of cups so who has feelings for you yeah we have the ten of pentacles i'm telling you this is somebody who's financially stable the thing is with this person is like they don't show it with the hermit their fortune their fan their stability is hidden even though with the sun card this is somebody who gets a lot of attention they may like to wear nice clothes but it's not the type of person maybe they like to wear jewelries or nice clothes but they're not gonna wear like a fifteen thousand dollar jewelry like or like you know a big chain on their neck they're not gonna do that they may wear like a small chain you know casual like a ring here and there a nice little watch but this is not somebody who is too flashy okay they like to wear nice expensive stuff but they're not gonna be flashy with it where you know like you know the eyes like they're not iced out this is what i'm getting here okay whether they, it's a woman or a man even if they have jewelry like i said it's not iced out they they're like more on the minimalist side you see we have the queen of pentacles you guys are a divine match for each other i'm telling you you guys are have the same feelings for each other with the two cups with the king of cups the king of pentacles sorry and the queen of pentacles you guys are mirroring each other the energy is the same like you guys are both stable you guys are both financially independent doing your own thing this person is looking for someone like them they're not looking for someone that's going to be a leech i feel like they've experienced that in the past whether they are a woman or a man i knew you see i knew the emperor was gonna come out i sensed it i knew it i knew you see divine masculine divine feminine i'm telling you you guys both have feelings for each other and if you like if this person is the masculine they will act on it they will act on those feelings i just feel like they're waiting for the right moment to do so and if you are demasculine take your shot shoot your shot this person likes you too they have feelings for you too okay so who has feelings for you i'm telling you we have the nine of pentacles again this person's abundant they're single and ready to mingle oh this person wants marriage okay this is somebody who's traditional so they believe in the traditional role the the man takes care of the finances is stable secure wants to give to his wife or you know this is what i'm getting here and if this is a woman she likes the traditional role of like a housewife or taking care of the family you know taking care of the children cooking cleaning she believes in that and she wants to do that she's traditional you guys could be of the same culture as well with the hero font and the world card i feel like yeah this person wants happiness ten of cups they could come from a they could also come from a wealthy family with the ten of cups and the ten of pentacles or a stable family so that means their parents were together and it was a healthy marriage so they didn't see their parents fight or anything like that it was really healthy so this is what they come from this is their background okay they have a, like a healthy relationship with their parents as well with their father with their mother they just may have not had the best of luck when it came to relationship but this person is still optimistic with the sun card that it's going to work out for them this is why they have like those feelings towards you they have a good vibe towards you this is what i'm getting here who has feelings for you i just saw the star i wanted to come out who has feelings for you Ooh, ace of pentacles i'm telling you this is somebody who is abundant and when they come in when they're gonna come in and like you know have the guts to tell you how they feel they're gonna come in with a solid offer this is somebody who likes to you know be stable and they are a woman or a man of their word. If they say they want to be with you, they want to build with you, that's what they want to do. There's no games, there's no like there's no trickery here. This person doesn't have time. They're in the nine of pentacles energy. They can have anyone they want if they want to. But they have their eyes on you. They want you. They vibing with you. It's like it's more than just physical. There's something like magical between the two of you i'm really sensing that okay so who has who has feelings for you i just saw the three of pentacles they wanted to come out i don't know if it's yeah I, it wanted to flip over i'm telling you this is somebody in your entourage you have feelings for this person we have the temperance card sagittarius energy this person is extremely wise guys look what's at the bottom it's i'm telling you this person uh, they want to offer you a cup of love all right this is somebody who's serious this is somebody like i'm telling you 
if you're mask and watching shoot your shot okay shoot your shot I'm telling you this woman or this man is is going to reciprocate the feelings are mutual I'm telling you so who has feelings for you Ooh, didn't I say the star wanted to come out now it's coming out in this deck this person could have some sort of influence people love them people will gravitate towards them um, Aquarius energy okay who has feelings for you who has feelings for you guys they see you as wish fulfillment nine of cups okay wish fulfillment desirable who has feelings for you who has feelings for you i'm telling you this person feels like you guys have some sort of past life relationship with the six of cups being here twice they're very fond of you fond of your energy you also remind them of a beautiful time in their life it could be like a, a grandparent like the love like the authenticity that you have i'm also getting like your wisdom maybe you guys talk about certain uh, topics and this person loves your wisdom they love like your expertise they love having conversation with you i'm telling you this person wants to marry you or they they feel like you guys the connection can lead until marriage it can lead until can lead to, to marriage with the hierophant coming out twice like this is somebody that is also a wise counselor people look up to them people take their advice so who has feelings for you yeah we have the queen of cups i'm telling you this is somebody who's emotionally balanced emotionally intelligent very strong minded as well i don't know why i'm getting that but they're very strong minded they're emotionally stable as well yeah this is somebody who may have healed from her heartbreak or heartbreak can't even speak with the three of swords in reverse and we have the devil at the bottom of the deck i can't show the card because it's, there's nudity on it yeah this person is very attracted to you and now i cut the deck open the emperor again i'm telling you this is divine feminine divine masculine energy this person is like i'm getting like they're intoxicated by your energy it's not like a bad because the devil is not always bad it just depends on like the other cards around it and the energy beside it like when you read the the cards but i'm not getting like a negative energy with the devil i'm getting like more like you know sexual attraction and there's nothing wrong with sexual attraction as long as it's not like to a point where it's becoming toxic or where it has a hold on you where you can't control yourself so i feel like this person is yes they like your physical um beauty you know but it's not just that there is more to it there's like a spiritual connection between the two of you and having sexual attraction to somebody that you love or you have feelings for there's nothing wrong with that okay this is what i'm getting here so we're going to be using the astrodize charmy and initials to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be so the the astrodice could be your sign or this person's sign the charmies could uh, is how they feel about you and then the initials could be your um initials or this person's initials okay so who has feelings for you who has feelings for you my pal my pal number two who has feelings for you who has feelings for you we have Jupiter, first house, and Aries. So this person could have, we have Aries in this house. We could have Aries in Jupiter or Aries in first house. So that could be you as well. Okay, so who has feelings for you? Okay, so we have L, D, V, A, T, N, we have triple N, V, triple O. So this person could have double letters in their name. I don't know why I heard Cassandra. We have R, V, T, N again, M, C, S, and J. Okay. I don't know why space tells me to take a few charmies. Okay. Oh, another letter H. Okay, wow, we have the tree. 
we have two trees so this person wants to build with you they could be Christian or you could be Christian here okay with the cross that yeah, they want to build something solid with you this is somebody who's family oriented that's how they feel about you they feel like you're heaven sent with the uh, feather and then the wings the angel wings they feel like you're divine yeah we see the infinite loop this person wants forever you know the song that just came to me is i think it's forever by chris brown i think that's the name of the song this person could be a musician or that could be you uh this is a dolphin hmm. maybe this person likes to go to the sea Okay, they like to not to go to the sea but they like to go to the beach or something like that um, we have uh, this person thinks a lot about you at night okay they feel like you're have I keep getting like heaven sent yeah they, they dream a lot about you or they think a lot about you they feel like you're beautiful because this is giving me like a mirror I don't know why it's just like it's the shape of a mirror even though it's not clear yeah this person you see another cloud they're always in their head about you Okay, with the cloud they feel like you're royalty and we do have Leo here so that could be your energy as well but this person fe feels like you're royalty and they feel like they could build with you something solid they want to take their time to learn to love you as well like the way that you deserve to be loved this person wants to learn your love language as well this is what I'm getting here all right so that's all I have for you, my pal number two. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number two. Bye. Hi, pal three. Welcome to my channel. This is Stella Beauty Tarot back at you again with another video. So, pile number three, you picked the citrine crystal, and this is going to be your reading, okay? So, if you are a returning subscriber, welcome back. I'm so happy to have you back. And if you are a newbie, welcome. Thank you so much for tuning in. So, the way I like to do this is I like to smudge the cards first before we get started. So, we don't pick up the energy of previous file or previous readings, okay? So, my pal number three, who has feelings for you? Who has feelings for you? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, nine of cups, wish fulfillment, desirability. This person, mm, they get what they want and they want you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm getting that guys this is somebody who gets what they want and now they have their eyes on you they want you mm -mm. who has feelings for you my pal Ooh, we have the world card so this person you may have met them while you were traveling or while they were traveling this is somebody who's well accomplished I'm getting like business owner vibes okay Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. guys I'm so excited I don't know who this person is but they have this exciting vibrant energy and they're feeling you my pal number three who for some of you could even be your boss okay I don't know why I'm getting that <laughs> oh my god I don't know why this person's energy is exciting oh I don't know who this is but my pal number oh this is somebody who's keeping on the wraps their feelings for you with the um, high priestess it could be a cancer yes this is somebody who is feeling you yes we have the ace of cups but i feel like this person oh nine of pen nine of cups again guys <laughs> oh yo i don't know who this person is i'm telling you their energy is exciting this is somebody who could be, um, yeah, they're very deep in their feelings for you, okay? With the Nine of Cups being here twice, and the Ace of Cups, the um, High Priestess, water energy, a lot of water. So this person is deep in their emotions for you. Ooh, you're exactly what they, ooh, yo! <laughs> oh, guys, I can't. The Ace of, the Queen of Cups! 
this is definitely a fire um a fire well they could have fire in their chart but i want to say water they could definitely have fire in their chart as well but this person's deep deep in their feelings for you with the queen of cups but this is somebody who may not show it with the high priestess that they have feelings for you but they could do certain things or say certain things that will let you know hmm, maybe this person's checking me out okay yeah this is somebody who's extremely patient they are dedicated they may have invested a lot of time and energy in their business it's giving me business owner vibes okay Ooh, 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 two of cups. Mm -mm -mm. This person, ooh, this is giving me an energy that this person either they want to have a relationship with you or they might already be in another relationship. Okay? But with the two of cups, I'm really getting that vibe that this person has a lot of feelings for you and they they're hoping that it's mutual because I like you don't know that this person has feelings for you with the queen uh, with the high priestess and the queen of cups is somebody who doesn't really you know show their hands when it comes to their emotions okay this is somebody who has a good really good poker face okay but they get what they want i keep getting that energy of somebody getting what they want we have the ten of cups a lot of cups guys we only have pentacles one pentacle card and one and two major arcanas but one of them is a water energy okay this is somebody who's family oriented they may already have like children some of you this person i feel like mm, some of you this person may be already in a relationship and they have feelings for you okay and that could be the reason why they have to keep it a secret yeah we have the death card scorpio energy you see a lot of water here this is somebody who may be going through some sort of divorce or an ending in their life or they're ending a cycle in their life and they're starting a new one beginning a new one and i feel like this person may have confided in you about certain things yeah we see now we have cancer again with the, chari the chariot this is somebody who's moving on from a toxic relationship yeah they're moving on from a heartbreak yeah, this is giving me a vibe that you either they don't have to be your boss they could be a boss they could have their own business i'm really getting like business owner type of energy somebody who has uh, a lot going on for themselves but this is also somebody who's emotionally um invested in the connection that you guys have it could be platonic it, i feel like this is platonic where you guys are not um diving in too deep into something um, more personal is still at a little bit at the service level but this person's catching feelings for you and their feelings is growing but they have to keep it a secret for some of you it you could be the one who's in their relationship as well and they're like trying to respect the boundaries here where they don't want to like overstep their boundaries with you when it comes to your relationship because i feel like some of you could be the one in the relationship but they're hoping i feel like this person is hoping that you guys break up okay i don't know why i'm getting that we have the knight of pentacles yeah this is somebody who's patient somebody who's dedicated somebody who is loyal you know what song that came to me a power trip by um j cole and miguel okay like go listen to that song this could be like a similar scenario where because in the song j cole talks about a girl that he always had like a thing for back in the days and he was too much of a coward to let her know that he had feelings for her and then when he came back to his hometown so this is somebody from his hometown and when he came back he was hoping that she would still be single so that way he could be with her or like he was hoping that if she's already with another man that they break up so that we could can get with her because in the song he talks about how he would send her flowers anonymous flowers and stuff like that just like you know the the high priestess keeping it a secret not coming forward with his feelings i feel like this person is a similar scenario where they may send you flowers or they may send you you know certain things and you're like wondering who's that secret admirer because i'm getting like a secret admirer vibe with the high priestess like they can't tell you there could be like some sort of interference or obstacle or a conflict of interest that is stopping this person from coming towards you or telling you how they feel about you but they're hoping like, <laughs> this is what i'm getting like this person's hoping that you would break up with your partner if you guys are in this relationship okay this is what i'm getting here so we have ooh, didn't i say a boss didn't i tell you guys i'm telling you this is a boss aries energy they can have aries in their chart 
They could be a, uh, like I said, a business owner. Some of you could be a manager. Who has feelings for you? Who has feelings for you? Yeah, we have the Ten of Pentacles, somebody who's financially stable or abundant. They have some sort of a legacy. We have the Tower, uh, not the Tower, the Judgment. This person is a great judge of character. This is why they have a lot of feelings for you because they feel like you're a great person. This is somebody who is um, the best in their field. They're highly sought after for their services, their product. Whatever it is that this person does for a living, they're highly sought after. They're highly respected. As I say that, the 601s came out, guys. I can't make it up. This person's highly respected in their field. They have some sort of public recognition as well with the six of wands, but this is somebody who's extremely successful. Okay. And I just feel like right now they want you. Okay. So who has feelings for you? Who has feelings for you? My pal. What do we have here? Ooh, this person's all in their head about you. This I'm telling you, this person's tripping. They want you to break up with your partner. <laughs> this person is crazy. <laughs> Not in a bad way where they're like, I'm saying that they're crazy or they have an issue. It's more like this person is tripping, man. They're like hoping you break up with your lover so that way they could come snoo scoop you up. <laughs> oh my God, who has feelings for you? Oh my God, foul number three. What did you do to this person? I'm telling you, they're all in their feelings. I'm telling you, go listen to that song, J. Cole, Power Trip. I'm telling, got me up all night, contemplating this love song. <laughs> you have this person. I don't know if that's what he says, like the actual lyrics, but that's what it sounds like. I'm telling you, this person is willing to fight for you. Five of Wands, King of Cups, Queen of Cups. I'm telling you, you may even like. Some of you may even like this person on the la on the download, but may not know that this person likes you too. For some of you, it could be that because we have the Queen of Cups and the King of Cups. But you see with the Five of Wands, there's definitely competition or conflict of interest. Either you or this person is already in a relationship and this is where the conflict is. But I feel like more pile number three, you're the one who's in the relationship. Because in the song, I keep referring that song because that's the energy I'm getting. This person, you have them up all night listening to a love song talking you know tripping saying finding a way to get to you <laughs> oh my god this person <laughs> who has feelings for you oh my god i'm telling you two cups you see but you see it came out in reverse this person wants you to break up or they're hoping you would break up or like and I, you know what i'm getting this person's not gonna cause you to break up they're not gonna do anything to make you break up okay they're not gonna do anything like you know beneath the veil or trying to interfere with your connection but they're just hoping that this person slips up and fails like this because this is exactly what jiggle says he says homie just f up one time and be through it forever <laughs> guys go listen to that song i'm telling you this person is like hoping they're hoping oh my god yeah they're patiently waiting like this person has patience like because they're not in a rush they're already established like in their life when it comes to their finances so they're not rushing anything and they rather wait for the right moment than to uh, mess it up and go too fast okay with the knight of pentacles so who has feelings for you? Who has feelings for you? Yeah, you see this person's contemplating, waiting. And some of you, you just came out of a relationship. So some of you are, are single. So this person's not rushing. So if you're single, this person's waiting for you to heal. He, this person's patient enough to wait for you to fully heal before they make their move on you. They don't, they, this is not the type of person that would like look at you and take advantage of your vulnerable state they want you to be your full self fully healed before they make their move or before they come and tell you that they have feelings for you they're not they don't want to do that this is somebody who wants to make sure you choosing them because you want to not because you are in a vulnerable place okay so this is somebody who has they have integrity okay i'm not gonna like this is somebody who's sneaky but this person is just in their heart if you are in a relationship just hoping that you guys break up so that way they can come in okay this is what i'm getting here who has feelings for you who has feelings I'm telling you the hero font 
I'm telling you, this person uh, is traditional. They have values. They have integrity with the hair font. Like you see, like they're patiently waiting with the Knight of Pentacles. So that's Taurus energy. We have Taurus energy three times. So this is somebody who is like, you know, willing to wait, to wait it out. And they're hoping and then they're praying. Like they feel like they're meant to be with you. That's why they are hoping that you guys would break up. But this is not somebody who would go beneath the veil or trying to do something or trying to get you in a compromising position where your integrity is being questioned they wouldn't do that okay this is what i'm getting here but still they're still like you know praying like oh my gosh please <laughs> this is what i'm getting here okay so we're going to be using the astrodice charmy and initials to get a little bit more confirmation of who this person could be you know this person is serious about you pile number three like they're serious like they could be with anybody else if they wanted to but it's like they want you like it's you so who has feelings for you and then miguel says could you believe me if i tell if i tell you i'm in love baby I want you to want me would you believe me if I said I'm in love baby <laughs> I know I can't sing guys but this is what Miguel says like oh my god this person is in love okay <laughs> we have the first house Capricorn and we have Pluto okay this is like tower energy so this person could have uh, Capricorn in first house so you see this is somebody who has like you know solid boss energy and then Pluto destruction okay like ending unexpected tower okay so that could be you or this person so who has feelings for you who has feelings for you Ooh, that's a lot of initials let's get some let's see if we have some charmies as well spirit give me charmies thank you we have D R O, so they could be from Dominican Republic. W, or you could be from Dominican Republic. C, D, I heard Congo. L, N, because with the world card, this person could be a forwarder. X, Y, F, double F, G, S, U, F, Q, B fell back in the container. D, Y, S, um, S again. D, M. Ooh, you go down in the DM. <laughs> we have a crown. This person feels like you're royalty. Ooh, yeah, this person thinks a lot about you at night. And you see there's another crown again. They feel like you're heaven sent. They feel like you have a unique energy about you you're like a star to them in this person's eyes they like to wear chanel number no. five or you like to wear chanel number no. five or this person likes your fragrance what you wear your perfume you have this person's heart they think a lot about you they want marriage look this is giving me a wedding band they feel like you're unique like a unicorn just different okay yeah they want to have children with you they want a family yeah you see and we have a little boy here or yeah this gives me a little boy telling you they want to have a child with you yeah we have the butterfly they feel like you're just trans transformative different beautiful they could be religious especially with the hero font being here or traditional okay they think a lot about you at night and this person is highly intuitive they may have a cat or black cat or you may have a cat okay so that's all I have for you, my pal number three. I hope this reading resonated. If it did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you in my next video, pal number three. Bye.